Sir Robert Borden. Over the past few years, Sir Robert Borden has faced with stern resilience unprecedented challenges as Prime Minister. Canada's enemies in Europe continue their attack on all that we as Canadians value, but under Sir Robert Borden's leadership, victory is only a matter of time. While other politicians have remained safely in their homes, Sir Robert Borden has fearlessly gone into the battle trenches and seen with his own eyes the realities of this war. He's talked with the brave soldiers and he knows exactly what is needed to finish this conflict. Conscription. Sir Robert Borden passed last August the Military Service Act. This will supply our struggling fathers, sons, husbands and brothers with the reinforcements they desperately need. Our Prime Minister's opposition, Sir Wilfrid Laurier, doesn't believe in conscription and would provide for our heroes the bare minimum support as he did in the Boer War. Laurier would permit unpatriotic, able-bodied men to sit back at home while real Canadian men fight their enemies for them. Men with legitimate reasons for not being able to deploy and needing to aid in the war effort from home have nothing to fear from conscription. What's more, Sir Robert Borden has made certain the safety of these fine citizens, as well as the women and children at home, through the War Measures Act, which, among other things, has neutralized the threat of enemy aliens. Thousands of these traitors have safely been round up in internment camps where they have been put to work for the good of this country instead of plotting ways to hurt it. These measures have successfully prevented the barbarous Hun from committing any atrocities on Canadian soil like they have done off the coast of Ireland in the cowardly sinking of the civilian passenger ship, the Lusitania. And let us not forget that on December 17th, Prime Minister Sir Robert Borden has granted all women with relations fighting overseas the right to vote. The women of this country have proven themselves to be determined and patriotic in their contribution to the war effort, and their voices will always be considered worthy of being heard under Sir Robert Borden. Together, victory can be ours. On December 17th, vote for victory. Vote Sir Robert Borden and the Unionist Party.